Hello, and I'm going to talk about how to do a line of the best fit on a scatter plot. The line of best fit is the rough estimate of a line on the scatter plot. The, the accuracy of the uh, line of best fit is relied on the R squared. The percentage missing of the R squared is the lurking variables. The lurking variables show the uh, things that you don't really see or don't predict on on your graph. On my graph, the pounds of meat consumed by humans uh, of different animals uh, can have a lurking variable of a sickness going through the herd herds of the animals where they are grown and slaughtered. The, uh, the easiest line of best fit to do is the linear line. The linear line is pretty easy to do and as you can see there are three different colors on my graph. Purple is beef, orange is hog, and blue is chicken. As you can see hog is very close together and would probably have a very high R squared with the linear line. Linear line is just taking the first point and drawing a line to the last point. This is a rough estimate of the line. It is not that good of a linear line, but still has a good show of the uh, line of best fit and how it would look on the graph. As you can see on the graph, the beef has a very weird look to it. I'm going to use the graphing calculator to show the R squared of the beef. I'm going to go to stat and then edit. And as you can see, I have inputted all my variables. L1 is the x axis and what where it will be on the x axis and the L2 is where it would be on the y y y uh, axis. Um, I'm going to go to scale or stat again and then I'm going to scroll over to calc and I'm going to go down to the linear reg. If you press this and then you enter it in your calculator it will show you different numbers and it can show you the r squared of the or er, the scatter plot. R squared the R squared is very low, but it can still but it and it's not th that good. So it probably isn't linear. I'm gonna go over to the quadratic and the quadratic has gotten better, but it still is not it's still not good at fifty three. I'm going to go over to exponential, which is right there, and as you can see, it's down at 51, and it's still not where you want it at. I'm going to go over to cubic, which it probably is, and with the R squared of 84, this is probably the best line of fit for this scatter plot. It is not that high. You would like it at 98 or 99, but there sometimes you get a a, uh, a scatter plot that really doesn't have a good good variables for one equation. But for for this demonstration, it's good enough to at least get a nice cubic. Uh, graph on it and it has an okay r squared thank you for watching you learned about how to do a line of best fit and do it with different equations